By the way, gang, should I show you my snack? Watch this. Winter is an amazing time for certain fruits. Eat fruits seasonally, right? This is persimmon. It's big persimmon, right? They in the Western world, in Canada anyway, where I am, they usually sell the little persimmons. They're smaller like this, right? And you can eat them when they're hard. This guy is hard. You can't if you eat this, try to eat this. It's gritty, it doesn't taste good, right? You can't eat this like this. You buy them when they're like this because they transport them like this. And then you put them on your counter, you wait until they ripen. And this is what they look like when they ripen. They get squishy, right? Take a look. Right? They get squishy. And then what you do, <laughs> I have to show you this. And then what you do, you cut this baby in half, right? And it cuts easy, right? See, it cuts easy. You just have to go through the bottom part of it with your knife. And that I need to put it down on the table. Okay. It is the most amazing fruit you have ever eaten. One of the most amazing fruits you've ever eaten. Take a look. Now, it's like this, right? Take a look. It's gooey. Very gooey. Okay. And then you, it's like uh, eating a kiwi, right? You scoop it out. It's like the flavor is unbelievable. You've never tasted anything like this if you've never had one of these. Okay. The texture is insane. Like, so good. Very unique. Very unique. It's called a persimmon. Persimmon, right? And this is the long version of the persimmon. The Persian stores have it. When it's ripe like this, you can leave it out when it's warm, but I like putting it in the fridge. When it's cold, it's phenomenal. And then you got two, two halves of it, right? You can take it off. Right? Don't puncture the skin if you can help it. Okay. There you are. And then you can scrape. scrape the the skin and get more of the meat okay in this process you might accidentally puncture the skin which is okay but don't eat the skin the skin is not edible okay mm. it's amazing Have a napkin handy because you're gonna have a little bit of spillage, right? Well, a little bit getting on your hands anyway. Okay. It tastes, uh, Tempura Peace says it tastes kind of like cross between peach and mango. Maybe, maybe te texture, yeah, texture of a peach and a mango. The taste is unique though. It's, uh, And then when you're done, the skin is like you're taking all the meat out, right? Just the skin left. And then you have another one that you can eat. And what, what I do usually, I eat a half at a time. Uh, and, I, and then put the other half in the fridge. Let it cool down while you, you've eaten that. And then maybe eat the whole thing, maybe eat more. It's very good. Very delicious. Uh, Leon on sensor tube. Uh, Leon Moore, Chicho, have you uh, tried Tamarello? I don't think I've tried Tamarello. I don't know what that is before. Is it like a citrus? Banister, hey, Chicho, came a little late. What fruit is that? It's, it's a persimmon. It's a persimmon. It looks like this. 
uh, these are the big ones in Canada you usually get the smaller ones like this and the smaller ones you can eat when they're hard these ones you can't you gotta wait until they go ripe they go squishy otherwise it's really gritty it tastes like crap right um, yeah there it is Greg Greg uh, J has spelt it out on sensor 2 uh, really delicious really delicious and of course pomegranate pomegranates in the winter tamarind uh, tamarind yeah tamarind uh, uh, in Persian we call it tamarindi uh, it's like black it's got the seized tart you use it for cooking as well super good super good super good persimmons are good so yeah 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 dang never tried before definitely gonna grab some yeah yeah yeah. try some make sure if you grab the big ones you wait until they're ripe okay make sure you do that make sure you do that shoe blues just broken skin one would assume oh, almost raw. and by the way when you're buying these when you're buying these don't buy any that are uh have uh have uh, what do you call it uh, have bruises on them right when they're hard don't buy any that have bruises because the bruises will ripen away faster while the other stuff stays hard the other parts so you want to buy these when they're not bruised no cuts to them and stuff because you want it all to ripen sort of um, together you don't want one part to ripen the other part doesn't okay Uh, the black spots uh, they, uh, they don't really do anything they, like they you know I have ones that are like totally black and uh, they don't really affect the flavor there are uh, times when they have black spots on them and the black spots sometimes they go into the fruit as well so you don't eat those but the black color here it doesn't really affect it it doesn't really affect it 